Concerns are mounting tonight for volunteer groups on the front lines of Chicago's migrant crisis. Around half a dozen buses carrying asylum seekers reportedly arrived to Chicago this weekend alone. New at 10, CBS 2's Aunt Andrew Ramos is at City Hall hearing from advocates who say this adds a strain to an already challenging emergency. Uh, good evening, Megan. Well, it's a situation that has not only overwhelmed city agencies, but has also inundated volunteer groups. And now the city's migrant crisis may soon be entering a new chapter after the number of arriving asylum seekers hit a new high this weekend. The year-long effort to help asylum seekers being bussed in from the southern border has been challenging. Resources have dwindled while places to house these families have come up short. And news of a record number of arrivals this weekend, nearly a half dozen buses at one time, has volunteer groups working overtime. We don't know where they're going. We don't know um, where they're going to end up. And so everyone's kind of scrambling. Erica Viegas, a lead volunteer with the police station response team, has worked vigorously with arriving migrants at police districts on the south side. The lack of communication on the ground, she says, is adding to the frustration. Many of the volunteers blindsided by new arrivals this weekend. We get families that arrive at all different times, middle of the night, morning, evenings, without any notifications. And then we figure things out because there's no other way, because there is uh, such a lack of communication from the city. With this influx of migrants, the big concern now is winter. We're going to have a lot of me more medical needs, and so that's worrisome because we, as volunteers, are paying for most of all the medical needs out of pocket. This all happens following an eventful week for this city as they navigate the migrant crisis. We learned about Mayor Johnson's $29 million plan that will create migrant base camps that are expected to go up across the city. And the Biden administration also announced that it will now issue temporary protected status to Venezuelans who arrive before July 31st, giving them a pathway to work legally, which many say will alleviate pressure from the city. Now, we did reach out to the city to find out exactly how many migrants arrived to Chicago this weekend. We did not hear back. Reporting live outside City Hall, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Andrew.